So, today's problem, I've messed up my temperature gauge. I'll be honest, I was trying to play around with the, I seem to have a bit of an airlock in my coolant system, so I was messing about with that and accidentally unplugged the temperature sensor from the uh, right side bank. Is it bank A or B? I'm not sure. And the engine was running and it obviously didn't like that because it just maxed out the temperature sensor and now it's stuck. So I've got no choice now but to remove the instrument cluster and try and uh, see if I can put it back to where it should be. I'm not sure if I can yet. We'll find out in a bit. First job is to unscrew these two screws here at the side. Okay, I've done the two side ones. There's also one up in here. steering wheel down to its lowest setting uh, well actually it's even off the lowest setting at the minute it's sort of flapping about below there you go it's popped out one side let's get this off completely I did do this many years ago and I can't remember doing it so this is a mystery to me as well these just lift out now the left hand side and the right hand side so the next stage is these little corner covers pop out one on each side I'm starting to remember now doing this before I needed to get myself a screwdriver in there anyway let's see if I can get my fingernail in oh there we go the other side. Let's just take out these two screws. So with our two screws there out, the middle one and the two screws that I've just done, uh, this is now loose and I do seem to remember from last time, it's now a bit of a game of pulling it forwards enough to reach around and carefully disconnect the two multi-connectors and then fiddle it out past the steering wheel. Just trying to get my fingers in here. I think just on the ends, yeah, they've got little push-in fittings, so there'll be one on the other side as well. Maybe do the first, do the back one first. It's not great when you've got big fat hands like me. That's that one. That's off. Okay, managed to get that one from the back. So it's just this. Okay, so just a word of warning. That's your lowest setting. I sound weird because I'm holding my camera in my mouth, by the way. Yeah, that's your lowest setting. To get this out, you need to push it down past the lowest setting. It'll try and rise up, but just keep it down. And then you do have enough room to gently pull it forward and carefully lift it out. So this is my temperature gauge. So that means removing all these little uh, hex things. There's a load of them under each uh, cluster binnacle instrument. That one's either missing or... Okay. That one's not got, that one's only got three on as well. That one's only got three. Oh, they've all only got three. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's all right. It's quite obvious. So the ones, the ones that have the uh, contacts on are held on and ones that aren't, aren't. That makes sense. Same up here. These ones are doing something. So we're pressed on. Okay, I was just being a bit stupid there. Happens a lot. Okay, so. 8mm socket for all these little connectors. Okay, so I think that's all the little hex head things off and now I've got to carefully take off all these tiny little washers. Right, I think that's all of those off. 
Now, I'm going to have to take these three bulbs out. I don't think it matters which ones go where, but I will just lay them out how they were. Now, gently lift the screen circuit board off its holdings. Okay, so these square clips, the whole circuit board just, you can just gently push it in that direction if it's off these pegs. Very good at connecting itself back up to the pegs, I have to say. It doesn't want to be off. It obviously likes being there. There you go. Right, well that is all completely free. I'm not going to force that over there or anything. So now it's a, uh, what size is it? T10. I'm going to need an extension. I may not even need the ratchet. Let's have a look. Uh, let's go with these side ones first. Maybe they're the only ones I need to undo. I was right, I didn't need the uh, extra torque of a ratchet. That's one. Definitely going to be that one as well. Two, and this other side one. Just got some long pliers. Lift them out. They're all the same length, so that's good. Don't have to worry about which ones go where. Let's see if that'll. Okay, so we've got many things coming loose now, haven't we? This could be entertaining. I may want to do this this way. That's a better idea. Okay. Set that to one side. Try not to stand on it. Let's turn this around the right way. Ah. Well, in all that fanning about, my temperature gauge has flipped itself round. So there we go. It obviously has some point where it just gets so far that it flips right round. I wonder if they all do that. Yeah, they do. Okay. So just while I've got it all open, I mean, I was fixing my uh, temperature gauge, which should flip round like that. But if you actually wanted to replace any of these dials, or I think you can get little kits as well to put little chrome surrounds on these if you if you wished um once you've undone all the screws at the back these literally just lift out it's just a little modular kind of thing so obviously you can just buy a new uh, or replacement petrol uh, gauge and just pop it in again trip uh, the uh What's it called? Odometer? The uh, revs, rev counter thing. Uh, just lifts out. Obviously you could replace as well if your mileage uh, calculi uh, counter had gone awry. Again, you could replace that. I'm not gonna lift that one out because it's attached to the uh, rather intricate um, mechanics of the... Uh, I'm, I'm terrible with terms. O odometer? My mileage, mileage ometer countery thingy jig. Anyway, you get the general idea. Which one goes where? That goes there. Can't really get them the wrong way around. Put this back together. Get the uh, trick, trick reset. Ow, what's my head? dials aren't screwed up. No, they're all as they should be again. 
Now when you turn that over, all the dials won't fall out of place. He says, confidently. So let's try and get these uh, two square ones hooked back in and then start just gently pulling the circuit board over all the contact points and the little locator pins. Hopefully without any tearing noises. That would be bad. Oops. The uh, things are falling slightly. I may need to lift it up to get the screws on properly for them. Let's have a look. Let me turn them out again. See if, oh, need the washers on first. Don't forget the washers. So let's try and do this one first. It seems to be sliding down. In fact, if I just get one on, yes, that's a good idea. Hold it up. So let's do one on each of these. Not very clean that one. I have trouble with that gauge now. Oh, why am I putting another wash on? It's because I'm not concentrating. Distracted by the rust. Yeah, if I have trouble with that gauge, I'll know why. I can just come and clean up the uh, contacts on that one. Just do one on each of these as well. Bastard. <laughs> okay, that's gonna have to come off again now. Okay, little tip, don't drop the little do's, the little washers down inside the uh, cluster. Bugger. I'm gonna plug these bulbs back in. Yeah, wrong one. Yeah, one, two, three. There we go. Just less holes for things to fall down while I'm screwing things in. I think these are all the same, but I did lay them out so that they go back in the ones I took them out of. That one's a bit dusty. Let's just give that a bit of a... <sighs> yeah, that'll do. Get back to this stage. I would say I need to be super careful, but it's not really something I'm good at. And actually, the more careful I try and be, probably the worse it's going to be. You know what's nice as well? I've got one washer left and one connector. That's good. That means I didn't lose any along the way. Oh, hang on. I'm missing one there. And there. That's not good. Nope, panic over. I had to look back at the video I was making. <coughs> if I wasn't making a video of this, I would have taken photos as I'd gone. Um, and for that very reason, these two uh, didn't have anything on, which is weird. <laughs> I don't know if that's right or not, but they didn't have anything on when I started, so we shall just go with that. I'm just going to get the uh, black covers, right, pop these little covers back on. that off just check if I've got any nuts or bolts anywhere no and we have one complete cluster again with one temperature gauge where it should be let's go put it back in the car back in the car with the big hole yeah I said I was going to hoover in there I can't be bothered I'll do it another day uh, so we need to set the steering wheel again down to its lowest possible position it's not even not even its lowest select selection. I don't know what I was trying to say there. So, 
slide that in. So now we've got the fun and games of putting the phone back of her mouth and trying to connect up the multi connectors again. Right, I've connected the connectors. I'm sorry I didn't video it. I did realize I could just go about get my hands in there uh, and, and flick it up into my hands and then click those two connectors back in. So they are connected again. So now, just reposition that where it should be. I remember this last time it looked like it was in the wrong place and then it was in the right place. Is that right? That's right, isn't it? Yes. We have to get a bit of grease to hold that on. I can't really get in because of the steering wheel. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, that's not working. So, let's go for the little grease idea. So, we get our grease, not on our hands. Get it on the end of the screwdriver. Might just be enough to hold the screw in place. I need my light. Oh, we line it up. It's quite deep, recessed hole. Yes, grease is our friend. Is that going in? That's gone in. There we go. So I'm going to need a bit more grease. And the other screw. change hands. What I don't want to do is drop the screw down in there. That's why I'm being a bit cautious because that will result in lost screw forever. And knowing my luck, it'll rattle around at a particular uh, rev range, annoying me forever. Is that screw again? I don't think it is. I think we're not quite lined up there. Let's give that there we go. So that's it, there we go, that's it. Alright, so we should nip them up. A bit of grease on the steering wheel. Uh what can I do with that? I'll just wipe that on my shirt. Yes, that's a good idea. Hmm. So now we need these little clips. And the light because I can't see what I'm doing. Put that back into place. And the other one. Beautiful. Right. Uh, which side's that? That's the left side. Let's get that back in place, and that needs to hook under this lip, bottom lip, before we get that in. Get out of the way, steering wheel. I said that as if it was something easy to do. There we go. Okay. Get that tucked in first. It's actually easier on this side because you don't have the trip reset prong sticking out. There, we need our screw and screwdriver. I can actually see the, see the screw hole there. Makes life a lot easier. Filming there, I didn't actually have that quite lined up. It needs to sit 
flush at the back here and be tucked in under this uh, plastic recess as well. And then actually it sits a lot better. You can see on this side, I've got the uh, bloody hell light. <coughs> I've got the, the back's not sat under the plastic. So you can see the plastic line there. You can't see it there because I've made a mess. So I'll have to unscrew that one and do it again. So we need to put this uh, centerpiece in now. Before we do that, we'll just, these have got little uh, little lips here and here. Can't quite get the camera in there. But they just help it slot into position over the top of the warning lights. So that's all nice and tidy-ish now. And then we just need to get that final piece in there. Won't be too difficult to get it lined up. Are oh, you rude word? I swear a lot. It's very difficult doing this for YouTube, knowing that I'm not really supposed to f and blind, which I do a lot while I'm doing stuff on the car, just because of stuff like this. Try a different approach. I try balancing it on a screwdriver. I think that's it. I think. Turn that round now, can I? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Right. Just nip that up. And I think. That's done. <laughs> 